Good day class. Today I will discuss your module 1C. In your module 1C, our topic is operations of functions. So when we say operation, we have addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. And we have also included here the composition of function. So again, thank you for our division developers. So, the first part here is the review. So, for the review here, we will have operations on polynomials. So, for example, in number 1, we have to add. So, in number 1, it says there that we have to add. Okay. Number 1, add. 9z plus 3y minus 5x. So, we have to add plus plus x plus 5y plus 6z. So, this is the first uh, polynomial. So, this is plus. Okay. And then we have the second polynomial. In adding polynomials like this, what are you going to do is just to simply combine like terms. Okay, when we say combine like terms, tignan mo kung asan yung mga parehas na variables. Yun yung iko combine. So in this case, we have 9z and 6z. 9z plus 6z, so we have 15z. And then we have 3y and 5y, so we have plus 8y, 8y, and then this one, negative 5x plus x, so law of integers, you subtract if they have different signs, so minus 4x. This should be the answer for number 1, so just check your module, this is wrong, okay? So, this should be the correct answer. And for number 2, subtract. Okay, when we say subtract negative 4yz from. So, when when you read the word from, big sabihin, doon galing. So, nauna siya. So, nauna si negative yz minus ang daw natin ng negative 4yz. Saan galing yun? Ito yan. If for yz, then minus yz. Right? So, kapag nagsosubtract ka naman, ang gagawin mo, you have to distribute this one. Negative. Negative times negative, okay, magiging positive. So, negative yz, negative times negative, magiging positive. Okay? Or simply get the uh, opposite sign of your subtrahend, yung pangalawang number. Okay? So, plus 4yz. And then, proceed to addition. So, mangyari, mangyayari, negative yz plus 4yz, okay, different sign, subtract, and copy the sign of the bigger number. So, magiging 3yz. So, 3yz. Correct. Okay? So, and number 3, ganun din, parang sa number 2. So, let's go to number 4. We have 4x cubed plus 2. Okay, multiply mo daw ng 2x squared plus 3x. So, mangyari class, we distribute. Okay, 4x cubed times 2x squared magiging 8x. You add the exponent. So, magiging raised to 5. Then, 4x cubed times 3x, so magiging 12x raised to 4. Then, we have ito rin, second, second term, so magiging positive 2 times positive 2x squared, magiging positive 4x squared. Ito naman, 2 times 3x, so plus 6x. Combine like terms, wala namang like terms, kasi pag sinabi mong like terms, yung variable kasama ng exponent parehas. So, in this case, wala namang parehas sa nila. Although, parehas sila ng variable na lahat ay x, pero pansinin mo yung mga exponent iba-iba. So, since iba-iba, ito na yung magiging final answer mo. Okay? Ayan. Pag division naman, sa number 5, we have 
50 p raised to 4 q raised to 6 divide daw natin ng 5 p q anong gagawin? divide 50 divide by 5 so magiging 10 ok, pagparehas ng variable copy and then subtract the exponent kung walang exponent, automatic that is 1 4 minus 1 is 3 q 6 so 6 q raised to 6 and then determine q raised to 1 6 minus 1 is 5 so q raised to 5 so this is now the final answer ok if in the case na hindi ma-divide yung constant niya, ay uh, let your answer be fraction. Tignan tayo. Alright, let's proceed to the key concept. Dito naman sa key concept class, dito sa module 1, si ninyo, papansin ninyo yung mga definitions ng uh, paano mag-add or kunin yung sum, kunin yung difference, product, at quotient ng function. Okay, so pakibasa na lang yan. Ang gagawin na lang natin ngayon ay mag -e example tayo. So sa pag-add, pag-multiply, pag-minus, katulad lang din siya ng pag-add, uh, pag multiply, subtract ng polynomials, katulad sa review kanina. Dito naman, sa papapansin ninyo sa quotient, excluding the values of x where g of x is equal to 0. Hindi pwedeng mag-0 yung denominator. Bakit? Kasi pag nag-0 yung denominator, automatic na automatic na undefined na yung function. Okay? So, bawal yun. Bawal yung mga numbers na magpapa-0 sa denominator. Meron din tayo dito, dito definition ng composition of function. So, pag sinabi mong composition ng function, tignan nyo ito class. Okay? Yung pag binasa to, F composed of G. Okay? So, pag binasa yun, F composed of G of X. Ang ibig sabihin niyan, yung function daw na F, may laman na G of X. Okay? So, take note ha, open circle siya, hindi siya solid circle. And nasa gitna, hindi sa baba, hindi sa taas. Okay? Anong example niyan sa real life? Parang ganito, nasa image. Kunwari, ang F of X mo yung uh, bread, yung G of X mo yung scrambled egg. Okay? So, pag sinabi mong F, compose siya ng G of X, Okay? Yung tinapay, nasa loob niyan, si scrambled egg. Okay? Pero pag binagtad natin, ma'am, paano kapag yung G, yung, yung G of X, compose siya ng F of X, or yung, eto, yung scrambled egg, okay? Nasa loob naman niya, si bread. Okay? Mali na tayo. So, compose siya ng bread. Okay? Dito naman, sa F composed of G of X, yung pinapay, nasa loob niya, si scrambled egg. Pag G composed of F of X, si scrambled egg, nasa loob niya, si pinapay or bread. Okay? Ganon ang konsepto ng composition of function. Now, let's go to the examples. Alright, so dito sa examples na to, mapapansin ninyo, may mga given. Okay? So, ito yung mga given na functions. May function of x is equal to x plus 3, p of x, and, and hanggang sa t of x equal to 2x plus 1. Okay? So, ngayon, ang gagawin natin, number 1, v plus g of x. So, anong pinapagawa sa atin? mag i add mo daw yung functional v of x sa g of x. Okay? Asan ba si V of X? Okay? Si V of X, eto siya. Alright? So, yan si V of X. Ang gagawin natin, number 1, i-add mo daw si V plus G of X. Ano bang ibig sabihin ng V plus G of X? Si function na V of X, i-add mo kay function na G of X. So, paano mangyari dyan? Kopyan mo yung function na V of X doon sa given. Eto siya. Si v of x ay, si v of x class ay equal siya sa x squared plus 5x plus 4. Si g of x naman class ay, tignan mo ulit dito, ito siya. So, x squared plus 2x minus 8. So, anong gagawin daw natin? I-add daw itong dalawang ito. I-add daw sila. 
So, pag pinag-add yan, ano mangyayari? Magiging x squared plus 5x plus 4. Ito siya, si b of x. Plus, okay, x squared plus 2x minus 8. Ito naman siya, si b of x. Pag pinag-add tong dalawang ito, arrow ito plus a. Ayan, baka malito kayo. Pag pinag-add yung dalawang yan, ano mangyari? I-combine like terms. x squared, x squared. So, magiging 2x squared. Bakit naging 2? Kasi meron ditong uh, coefficient. May 1. Ito, may 1. Hindi lang kasi nilalagay. Automatic na yan. Okay? So, next. 5x at saka 2x. So, magiging plus 7x. And then, Positive 4 minus 8, mangyari minus 4. So, since simplified na siya, wala na siyang i-combine, ito na yung magiging final answer. So, 2x squared plus 7x minus 4. Kaya mapapansin ninyo sa number 1, ay parehas dito sa example dito. Okay, paano kapag minus? Right? Puntahan natin kapag minus. Right, so pag minus naman class, okay, For example, dito sa number 2, anong sabi? P minus, number 2, P minus F of X. F of X. So, anong gusto niyang mangyari? Si P daw, okay? P of X, maminusan natin ng F of X functions. Hanapin mo ngayon kung asan yung given sa P of X. Ito siya. Okay? So, mangyari ay magiging uh, 2x minus 7. So, since minus ito, okay, lalagyan natin. So, lagyan muna natin ng parenthesis para alam nyo na itong 2x minus 1 siya si p of x. So, minus, okay, minus, uh, delete lang natin to f of x. So, minus f of x, asan yung f of x? x plus 3. So, x plus 3. 3. So, pag nagba-minus tayo, class, yung subtrahin, nagbabago yung sign. Bakit? Tinidistribute kasi natin ito. So, ito, walang problema. So, magiging 2x minus 7. So, negative times positive, magiging negative x. Negative times positive, magiging negative 3. Okay? Or, ang mangyayari, basta mag-minus yung pangalawang function, pinabago mo lahat ng sign or get the opposite sign of your subtrahin. Kung positive siya, magiging negative. Kung, kung negative, magiging positive na. So, in this case, positive siya lang parehas, kaya naging negative. Okay? So, that is equal now to combine like terms, 2x minus x, magiging x na lang. Negative 7 minus 3, magiging negative 10. Okay? So, kaya naman, ito yung sagot sa number 2. So, ganun ang mangyari kapag subtraction.